。早上好，我的名字是香兰。今天我们一起打 Fire Emblem The Seven Siblings. Hello, hello, I'm your host Panda. Welcome back, and I hope you liked my slightly improved Mandarin intro.、Uh, I learned that Shanglan is the Mandarin word for panda, which is a leaf that grows in parts of Southeast Asia. So there you go. So without further ado, we got scouts. I like it.、Um, but let's get into Chapter Five X. Last time we played Chapter Five, Desperate Rescue, which was pretty fun in that town with the spiders. Town of Spiders. It could also be renamed. Now we're gonna go into Chapter Five X. Meanwhile, da da da. Let's see. There are. So I know, like, when you're first hacking FE8, it could be intimidating to try and make edits to Chapter Five X because of the way it's laid out. There are some patches you can use now that will give you access to the convoy. That will allow you to use. The existing army that you already had. If you don't want to, if you want to use the chapter slot for something else and not do, you know, this Ephraim style Gaiden, but Gaiden, I should say, Gaiden,、uh, the Gaiden. So let's、um, see what's happening. Meanwhile, in the capital of Frelia. Whoa! Ooh, look at a kidna. Mom, are you sure you're well enough to travel by foot? No way. His mom's a kidna. Now the magical treatments have helped to keep the sickness at bay. But they've also taken a toll on your body. I'm sure Luke will be willing to go on foot and give you his horse too, just as we did on the journey here to the capital. Okay, let's see. I'm just looking at this art right now.、Uh, similar shading issue with green and kidna. I love the color green you chose. The green and brown is really a cool combination. It's very earthy.、Uh, this guy with it's Alvin with Alan with the bigger chin. I kind of like,、uh, although it's a lot of Alvin, Alan, Alan. I should say not Alvin. And then this pink, this blonde lady. Like the shading there is a little bit better. The back of the hair looks a little, the far side of the hair looks a little funky. But、um, I'd say one of the harder to recognize splices. I think it's Sarah's body or whatever. But like, nice job. Yeah, it's no trouble, mom. After all, that's why it was me and Sarah that came with you here, since traveling is much easier for us with our mounts. I appreciate the thought of you too. But I'm sure my legs use a few days of walking after covering for so long. It feels good to be wearing my armor again, to be honest. You both know that I hate sitting around. Just don't push yourself, Mom. We decided as a family that Luke and I were in charge of your welfare while you were here in the capital. With one of us here to stay with you, if the other one was returning home to get money. Oh come on, Sarah, don't be so serious all the time. Be glad Mom is back on her feet. She might not be completely cured yet, but she's definitely better. Besides, maybe you should offer your horse for once instead of offering mine. I appreciate the sacrifices you two have made for the family with me being sick. In fact, I'm proud of all my children for that. You've really grown up over the past six months. I wish you could all be kids a little bit longer, though. You two are 16, the youngest besides William. Yeah, it's you who care for me these days. So, may, so if these guys are 16, like they seem so much older than Will. Will feels like a 12-year-old or like a 10-year-old by comparison. Like that's what happened at age 15, man. That's wild. Well, anyway. Well, it's nice to be all together again, even if the circumstances aren't the best. Yeah, you could use more treatments, but、uh, the Rene army isn't going to wait for you to be done. How far out was this army this morning's report? A week? Yes, but I'd wager half of that, given how ineffective the Frelian military has been holding them back so far. Many people have already begun evacuating to villages to the north. Mom, you fought in the last war. What will happen to Frelia and to us if the kingdom falls? I don't know, dear. The last war was focused on Magus and his forces, not on the conquest of nations. And nobody knows why Rene has attacked so fiercely and suddenly. The word is that they're barely touching any of the territory they take and just keep marching towards the capital. I'm not sure what their end game is. That's a typo. There should be there, like E I R there, not they are. I wouldn't worry too much about that, Sarah. I'm sure we'll make it out okay. As long as we can pry Christie away from the academy, we'll be out of here by dawn tomorrow. True. Ugh. Tia and her books. Always lost with her books. I doubt she even knows there's a war going on with her head always up in the clouds. Yes, her sister is a bit of a different breed. But she is still your sister, and we're not leaving without her. You two, saddle up and bring empty bags. I'm sure Chris will have traveling gear to store. We'll leave for the academy to pick her up in an hour. All right, what are we doing? We're finally out of the Commerce District. Soon we'll be have Christie, and I can get you children as far away from war as possible. Mom, what? You see those blobs at the city walls in the distance? Yeah, I can see them. And do you two hear that noise? It sounds like screaming in battle. Oh no, these blobs! Those are Renee Wyvern riders. The whole platoons of them, and they seem to be dropping squads of soldiers off this other bit. So they were dropping poop. Dropping poop all over the city. Those are the blobs. It's a tactic they used in the last war, but never in such great numbers on such a large target. This isn't the full invasion force, not yet. But an attack like this is designed to hit high priority defense targets, like an academy for mages, whose magic could easily strike down an aerial force. Exactly. We need to hurry and grab your sister before they get there. 
and get out of the city as fast as possible. Even a little damage is done, this attack will no doubt cause mass hysteria. We don't want to be caught in that loop. Right ahead and scout. Sarah, watch my six. These troops are no doubt elite and won't waste any time getting to their objectives. Let's ride. Whoa. Lady Emily, they're slaughtering us. What shall we do? The Archmage is dead. It looks bleak, doesn't it? I'm afraid there isn't much we can do right now. If we were to go out there, we'd be killed along with the rest. There are too many soldiers. The magic suit I've placed on the door should hold for now. Our only hope is to wait for rescue. Have faith, mages. I always dreamed of becoming an Archmage, but this... Never wanted it this way. Stay strong out there, friends. Survive. Cowardly Frillian mages. The High and Mighty Academy. Always thinking they're better than us. We come to face them, and all they do is steal themselves in the way in their rooms. The seals take some time to break. Form up into squads. Keep hunting those down that you find, leaving them alive. The glory of this victory shall be ours. Hmm, what's all that noise out there? Hmm, probably nothing. Ha! Ooh, we got an axe, Cav! Mom, the strike force is already in the academy. They're beginning to storm the dormitories. There's so many of them. Keep your cool, Luke. We'll get out of this yet. I'll make for Christie's room. You two keep watch in the hallway. Hold the line till I return. Luckily, we're fighting our way to the city this rate. Oh, all right. Oh boy, that was that was a doozy. All right, we got a lot going on here. So we're in this dormitory. It looks like we got to wrap a bunch of dudes. Look how many dudes there are. That's so many dudes. Holy heck, those are so many dudes, man. We got Emily, high-ranking major, fairly high-working and has high standards. She looks like she's pretty decent. We got some other random Frelians. And we got Christia, who's down here. So she is one of the siblings, I guess. A young mage, extremely gifted, but often out of phase with reality. Okay. All right, all right. And then we got Sarah, the true true She looks decent with her heal and men's death. That'll be useful. Um, for level seven, her base is a really crap compared to Kayla. Then we got Luke with his massive chin, who I'm super into. Uh, he's got. I guess he's like the bulk cavalier. Oh, he's got lances too. So I think this was an intentional choice to have axe and sword cast both use lances. And then we got Nancy. An aging hero has been struck with a terrible illness. Oh no. Nance. Nance. Love that name. Um, Alright. I really like want to use her because she's freaking Jagan. But I also am concerned that she's probably not going to be around for too much longer. Alright, Christia, Christia, Christia! Hmm, who's there? Oh, Mother, what are you doing here? Christia. Renee is under attack by the city. At this very moment, there are very soldiers in this academy, and they're killing all the mages they find. We have to go now. Oh, I did hear some noises earlier. Well, we must be off then. Wait. Mother, you said killing. Yes, Chris. It's a massacre further. Mom, I know it seems like I don't care much for people, but other mages, they're my friends. I can't leave my friends to die. I don't think you'd want me to either. Christia, you're right. We shouldn't abandon anyone today, especially not your friends. We'll save as many as we can and make our escape. Do you know the fast way out of the city from the academy? Yes, there's a way through the gardens. On the other side of the academy, come with me. We need to save my friends. Alright. We're gonna go save her friends. So let's, um... Man, this, this, enemy, this map is dense, dude. I mean... I'm a little less concerned when... Frickin'. Ooh, this guy's got the horse slayer. Man, dude. Pulling out no stops right now. Let's see. Okay, we're going... Yeah, let's go here. And we'll just take out this guy. That works. Got the Vuln. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, my first comment is that this map is dense. Like, dude, he's only giving us... Me, I have four units. I mean, I guess these mages are on pillars to, like, try and stop them, but... Like, these guys, look at that. Like, they're not gonna last very long. Rest in peace, Frelian Mage. I like how they all have little chairs in their room, that's cute. Just hardcore lounge chairs. And these guys do not do much. Like, I think, if you want to do route like this, I feel like you need to have... I don't know, it's just a lot of enemies. I mean, these guys aren't that strong, like... I'm 100. I've pretty much one rounded every enemy that's come at me. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little iffy on this map right now. It's just really dense. It's really dense. Like, this is a pretty long enemy phase for chapter five. You could probably cut the amount of enemies by even more than half, 
and make this map smaller, and it would do the same thing. Like, it doesn't need to be this big. This is a lot of enemy phase watching mages get massacred, because they have no shot, like... I think especially because, and also too, because the dialogue insinuates that the mages can be saved. It's like, do I reset for good RNG? Is there some type of reward for the mages living? I mean, I don't think there is, right? But... I think it's, um, important that with dialogue, like, you... I mean, yeah, you want to save them, but also, like, make them possible to save so that the player can feel some type of satisfaction keeping the green units alive. Even if there is no reward, right? right? Alright, Nance. Let's get Nance out here. Okay. Flex it up. Heal up. What do you got? Let's see. Javelin, Axe Reaver, Horse Slayer, Javelin. Dude, this, you really just like want to kill Luke. Let's see. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like those odds. Alright, let's see what happens. Yeah, because it's so dense. Because it's so dense, I can't really progress properly because all of my dudes will just get completely killed. Completely killed. I have to go really slow. Because it's so dense. Yeah, I think you really need to pare this map down. Unless there's like some other NPC coming that's like gonna be super buff and like destroy all these dudes. Which I don't think is the case. Oh, he's took the chair. No, he's tanking him on the chair, no. Yeah, like, unless there's, like, story reasons for the map to be this big, like, there's another green unit that's coming that's gonna, like, try and, like, kill the boss and take all the experience, and that's kind of your incentive to rush. That's, that's an idea. But then, or you could do something like, um, let's see. I'm trying to think of another option. Or, like, if you want, like, almost like how Tabarn comes in and just, like, wrecks the crap out of shit just to like kind of show off how strong he is like if you want to do something like that then maybe i would be okay with this type of map design and maybe that's what's coming right but it's just my gut is that this is just so big for four units to fight generally you want to start off with double plus a little bit more and with something like this right like i think it's like 35 enemies i have four dudes to fight with that's a lot of kills per dude Especially when, like, I'm probably just going to mostly use Luke. Luke's going to be the main benefactor of this experience, because Nance is, Nance is... Nance is clearly the Orson. Alright, let's go. Oh, my clerics, they don't move. This is targets, alright. Let's go, Steel Axe, let's go. Can Nance tee this up? No, Nats is probably just gonna wreck it. Yeah, let's see. You can do it. Alright. Let's we'll tee that up for Nance. Female hero, though, is just really cool design. I love female heroes. The purest water. Alright. Okay. Let's go, Jagan Mom. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm not really scared of these guys. I feel like I should be. But I'm just going to assume like if there are this many enemies that they can't all be strong. Plus they're all like triangle disadvantage against my boy Luke here with his massive chin. Look at that chin, man. It's a freaking powerful chin. I love it. Let's give this one to Christia. Alright. Slowly but surely, what are these guys packing? Steel Lance, Axe Reaver. Man, you really like don't want me to use Luke, but I'm gonna keep using him. We'll get Nance up over here with the hand axe. Actually, let's do Iron Sword for Nance. Let's see what happens. Nance! 
Nance. Look at the crits from Nance. Oof. That's probably a good kill for Christia. These guys are going to be moving in now. No. Christia. Alright, Axe Reaver. Oh man, you're giving me lots of stuff. More Axe Reavers, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Let's do this. Get rid of these guys. And then, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. Get Luca. I don't like these odds. Let's um, do this and see if the guy moves. Uh oh. Forgot that armor knights move. <laughs> My own fault. But yeah, like, look how big. Like, for example, look how big these rooms are. They're four by four. You can do the same thing in, like, like this space, right? Like, two by three. Even three by three, maybe. You know, just like this, even like tinier rooms, right? Like they don't need this much space. You can do so much more to like give the impression of rooms. Like this is like luxurious. Look at these carpets. Well, those carpets from Rustin. You know, like those are some fancy carpets. I love it. I like the idea though with the chairs. I think that's pretty cool. Pretty funny. But yeah, this is the big old map, man. The big old map. All right, Nancy, you gotta take care of this. Get him, Nance. Silver Axe time. I don't care. Nance. Nance. Right, what are these guys packing? Yavelin, Axe, or Iron Lance, Iron Lance, Iron Lance. Luke. Oof, he... Let's see. Let's do it, Luke. We're blitzing with Luke right now. He's got a massive chin. He's ready to go. Dude, I love, I love the chin edit. I just think it's so funny that, like... It's almost like all the same face, but just the chin. The chin is so good. Let's go, Luke. Luke might be my new favorite unit. I mean, who doesn't love an axe cab, though, really? I feel like if you took a poll of all Fire Emblem fans, they would all agree that the axe cab is probably one of their favorites. Have, do you not like axe cabs? I don't know. I've never met anyone who didn't like an axe cab. I mean, I guess we didn't really, we don't really have too many axe calves in vanilla. Like you get Kieran, who's pretty good. But even still, like Kieran is, um, I mean, Kieran's good, but like for a new player, you might look at Kieran's stats and be like, I don't know if he's that great. Like I was certainly like that. I was kind of underwhelmed by Kieran the first time I used him. Let's see. Who's got the Axe Reaver? You do. Nance. Get him, Nance. At least with so many dudes, I don't mind giving kills to my Jagan. Yavalavalin. Alright. I'm gonna look over here. Alright, let's see what happens. But yeah, everyone loves Axe Cavs. I think everyone's always stoked to see an Axe Cav. I think everyone just like axes in GBA, to be honest. I mean, I'm definitely guilty of that. Luke. Beat him up. Thank you, Luke. With the Vuln. Flux him up. All right, we're gonna send Nance in right now. Nance is going in. Yavelin, all right. Hand axe on the pillar, Nance, Nance. Let's go, Nance. All right, I'll heal you up. Sarah's gonna need to heal herself in a few. I will say I like the unit breakdown here. I've never seen this com this particular combo of dark hero axe cap. Like that's a pretty cool and unique combination of units to use. 
and they do wreck against all these old soldiers. Like that's kind of fun. But yeah, you could you could definitely like give me the same thing without taking this long. Nance. Dude, Nance wants it. Nance wants it all. Maybe I'll regret giving all these kills to Nance. Alright, we're getting down to the wire here, boys. I wish you could one hit. Let's see, how do you do? What do you guys have? Steel Lance, Iron Lance, Flukes, and Nosferatta. Nosferatta, alright, let's see. Alright, right, let's we'll turn animations on for them because I do want to see these guys' pallets. And we'll get Sarah healed up. There we go. Turn him on next turn. Actually should have him on this turn, but whatever, let's see. Flukes him? Nance. Nance is a hero. Pun intended. Alright, let's go. Alright, so options. Let's do it. Solar Axe Lamp, Nance. Let's see, how do you do? Yeah, you can do it. Let's go, Luke. Pallet's a little flat. I like the color choice, though. Horse definitely needs some reshading. The South Calves look great, though. They're just a really nice animation. Luke, look at those stats. Luke, getting the essentials. Alright. Okay, let's see. How does Nance do here? Let's, uh, let's trade this up. Nance. Okay, this is no pallet, just the generic player one, which is fine. Nance! Alright. Actually, I lied, Nancy is my favorite unit. Lady Hero Jagan is just really cool. Christia also looks like no pallet added yet, which is fine. This is still a really early demo, guys. This is still super, super early. I'm sorry, I kicked the mic stand again. These bosses don't move, okay. Kind of odd that these, like, last guys at the end don't move at all. But everyone else did. Let's see. What are you saying against this guy? Oof. This might be a job for Nance. Silver Axe Nance? Nance can just freaking wreck him. Iron Sword Nance? Let's try this. No, it can't be. They've made it this far. Girl, I must do everything myself. <coughs> Novala. So this does take place after the War of the Stones. Alright, Nance. Alright, he'll just like heal himself right back up then. Uh, oop, nope. Let's try this. Mm, so then he'll have... No, that's not good. Let's go. Flux it up, Christia. I let my espresso sit on the stove a little bit longer today. Got a little bit of this roasty toasty kind of taste to it now. I'm into it. When I'm making it on the stove top, I get a little impatient sometimes that I just kind of just want to drink it. Let's see. But today, I just let it sit for a bit longer. And who boy, does it does this show. I definitely like that sort of, like, ashy burnt coffee. Not necessarily burnt, but, like, definitely, like, the heavy roast. Like, if you've ever had, like, Indonesian coffee or just, like, coffee from Southeast Asia, more like a Robusta taste that's a little bit, like... I don't know, sometimes, like, people would say it tastes like an ashtray, but I kind of like that. Like this really just dark coffee. That's what I'm into. Ooh, Nance. Nance. Alright, Nance is gonna whittle him down. Nance, the absolute hero of this run. Nance. Alright. I think Nance is going to. Yeah, this is going to Luke. Do I need to trade stuff over? Yeah, let's do this. He can't even use the Axe Reaver yet. Um, that's fine. And now let's do this. Can we do Juke him with Luke him? 
Luke Nukem. No! Ah, uh, heck. Now this is tough. Ah, oh, this is so tough. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That was really inopportune. That was super, super inopportune. Alright, I can do this, though. I can heal it up, Luke, and then move Nancy away. Because Sarah should have enough resistance to survive. It's just going to take a lot longer now. That's a nice level up for you, Sarah, Sarah. Alright. And then Nance. Nance. Actually, we can just leave Nance here with the elixir. We'll go Iron Sword, Elixir. Nance! She wants it. She wants it all. Alright. Yeah, he'll go after you, of course. Please dodge. I don't have to, like, whittle you down again with the Nance. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Alright. Let's see. Christia, can you flex him up for me? Okay. Take him down to one, and then I'll get back up to where he was. That's kind of silly. Um... Uh, It'll be like a net five damage. Can you just finish him off? Yes, you can. Luke the Juke? No! <laughs> this is so frustrating. No Sferatu bosses, man. No Sferatu bosses. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. We're just going to go all in right now. I'm so done with this boss. I'm so done with this boss. No Sferatu bosses, man. They are brutal. All right. Nance. We might just give- the, we're giving the kill to Nance if she dodges. Nance! Let's go, Nance. I don't care. Is this the end? Yes, it is. For you, Novala. Nance! I really hope we get to keep Nance, man. Nance? The defense, bulky Nance. Alright, we did it. We did it, lads. Gotta discard something. Mm -mm 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 Nosferatu. Let's get rid of the hand axe. It's almost toast anyway. All right. Archmage, are you in there or are you dead? <laughs> like all the rest. Christy, is that you? Are there more anywhere out there? You mean the soldiers? No, we took care of them. All of them? <laughs> Let me undo this seal. Christy, you survived, and this—this this is your mother, yes, and your brother and sister. Did you four really take on all of those soldiers? Yeah, we did. But unfortunately, well, we arrived too late to be able to save many of the mages. I doubt we could have won if they hadn't fought so bravely before we arrived. Christy, do you know this young woman? Yes, this is Emily, one of the Magic Council. She knew she knew before I came. Well, I hadn't met you, Christy, but I spent some time with your brother Scott serving the army. He was always so proud of his family, and it seems he was what was warranted based on your heroics today. You're Nancy, yes? Their mother? We are truly thankful for your saving us, Nancy. I was had to had holed up us up in this room and hoped someone, anyone, would come to our rescue. Ah, uh, you can thank my son and daughters for that. Did the heavy lifting. Do you have any injured? We need to get a move on right away before more troops arrive. No doubt the strike force is a precursor to the main army on its way. We are well enough to travel, although those that were able, I was able to conceal, they are all healers, not fighters. They are sworn to serve the people and will want to help in the evacuation. It is our duty. I know you have no obligation to do so, and you have every right to run and save yourselves, but might I ask that you stay and aid us. Nearly all of our fighters are besides Zyre. They were killed in the surprise attack. Even our strongest, the Archmage. I can't defend them all by myself. Mother, I know you worry about the rest of the family. We can't leave all those people to die. I noticed that my days of fighting in wars were long over, but it seems we have no choice. Emily was it? We will stay and fight for you, and for Frelia. Nance! Yes, we get to recruit Nance. Long-term dance. I'm glad to hear it. Today has been a horrible day, but together we may yet prevent more bloodshed. Emily, we were making passage for this. We were making for the secret passage through the garden. We could evacuate people through that way. It will be safer than the main roads. You're absolutely right, Christia. There's no telling what other fighting is going on in the city. We don't have the numbers to defend large evac groups, but we can gather a few families at once and ferry them out of the city onto the woodlands from Luna. Nancy, might I ask that your mounted son and daughter, your mounted son and daughter, assist the clerics in gathering the families in the surrounding homes? Of course, Luke, Sarah, you two join the clerics and gather survivors. I assume you mean for us three to scout ahead. Yes, that's the plan. We can't be more certain the soldiers aren't looking. I gotta say, dude, you do this a lot with the dialogue. It's just a lot of explaining. It's a lot of explaining. It's a lot of telling you about these little details. I think, let some stuff happen off screen. Like, just say like, hey, let's have a meeting to plan, but I'm glad we're allies now. And it's like, just assume that they're going to plan. And you're going to save yourself a lot of time, and you're going to save the reader a lot of time, because this is a lot to get through. Like, this is very text-heavy for so early in the game. Almost everything. War tends to do that, but don't lose hope, not yet. We still live, so hope springs eternal. 
Thank you, Nancy. There will be a time for tears, but not now. Let's get moving. All right, we did it. So that was chapter 5x, meanwhile. So we kind of steamrolled that chapter. In all honesty, the boss at the end was a little dicey, but that was just due to some bad RNG and the fact that he's no Sparatu. Uh, yeah, nothing nothing really to add here besides what I would have said. You can make this map way smaller. Like, make those hallways three wide. Make those rooms, like, half the size, if not even less. Cut the amount of enemies, make them a little bit tougher. So I have to think a little bit more about what I do. Like, I'm just sending people out there. You know, because I just know that none of my dudes will die. It's pretty casual. Um, pretty easy just to, like, throw in, like, untrained Luke and just see what happens. Nance, too. Um, conceptually, I like the idea of rescuing the mage dormitory. I think that's pretty neat. It would be cool if there was, like, any possibility of saving them and then, like, having them, like, join you. Like, that would be kind of neat, too. Um, but regardless... Uh, conceptually, I think there's some, some good stuff there. Like, I think from a narrative perspective, I think the map needs a lot of work. I think the map is... It's super linear. It has long enemy phases because it's so dense. The NPCs don't really add much because they die so quickly because there are so many enemies. So just take that into consideration. You could probably make this a lot smaller. Um, and it will be just as good and do exactly what you needed to do. But anyway, guys, my name is Panda. Thank you again for watching. This is Chapter 5X Meanwhile of an FE8 ROM hack titled The Seven Siblings. Next time, join us for yet another episode, Chapter 6, Riders of Renee. All right, I'll see you guys next time. My cursor says goodbye.